Good morning, everyone, from Osaka. A very Osaka start to the day. How is everybody doing? Today we've come out to Osaka for the sole purpose of enjoying a live stream together. And I want to start by saying a huge thank you to Red Panda for kicking off the super chats along with Tim Hempstead and Chris. Very generous. Thank you so much. Casey as well. How is everybody doing? Look how crystal clear and smooth that water is today. That is some very serious. There's no wind. There's nothing. It's going to be a nice day to walk around Osaka and do a bit of live streaming. This dude over here is having the best time of his life. I don't come out to Osaka very often, so I think that we're going to have a lot of fun today. So I might actually lean on you guys to help guide us around. For now, why don't we head down and start with a bit of a walk by the river? And yes, if you were part of the... Also, look at how clear this street is right now. This. Ebisubachi Suji Shotengai is usually just packed full of people. But we are so early in the morning right now that it's nice and quiet. We're going to start down here, walk down along the river, and kick off the morning in Osaka. How's everybody doing? If you're privy to the <laughs> the Kyoto stream our second Kyoto stream we got hit with some pretty bad rain <laughs> and it was it was less than fun <laughs> it was <laughs> it was wonderful it's super nice walking through the rain so got out to Osaka nice and early so that we'd be able to do a bit of a live stream walk through the area today right now we are in the area of Namba. And Klebra's in here saying, my first super chat, best wishes, Norm. Thank you so much for keeping that super chat ball rolling. I also see the question of what time is it right now? Let's take a look at the watch. It is currently 6.52 in the morning here in Osa. Wow, that that, that crow, he's just carrying that container with him. All right, man. All the best to you. Enjoy your container. And that cat is just full on booking it. Very active morning for the animals here in Osaka. It's been... I'd say close to two years since the last time that I managed to make it out to Osaka. We did a little bit of a video last time, but I figured this time we would focus almost entirely on live streaming. That big old Don Quixote there and Annette keeping that super chat ball rolling and calling me a noob because I'm I'm an Osaka noob, and according to how smoothly today's stream started, <laughs> turns out I'm a streaming noob as well. So, today we are going to be walking through this area. If you missed the Kyoto live streams, we are now on a slightly different mobile streaming software, so the stream should be coming to you in a much nicer and more crisp full HD 1080p super happy about that uh, if it is weird for you or if it's buffering a lot of people have been saying that if you just refresh it it helps fix it but we got a bunch of doggos coming up here good morning doggos and they're all wearing jackets 
Hi, Hi. Hi. Good, Good morning. You too. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. The one thing that I will say that I enjoy about the Osaka or Kansai area is that the、uh, the people here tend to be very friendly, very warm. Well, I have probably already talked to like 15, 20 people this morning, even before kicking off the stream, just while getting set up. People were like, Oh, are you a YouTuber? And I'm like, Yeah. And they're like, What's your channel? What's your channel? So, made a few friends this morning. Everyone was really nice. And Annette in there again, keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, Morning coffee. Thank you so much for that. Osaka, the entire Kansai area, you'll tend to, like yesterday, I got on a train, and since the beginning of the end of the world, basically, People have been much more quiet on trains. I've seen people actually get angry and yell at individuals for like talking on the train, but here in Osaka, it was just everyone chit chatting. And within seconds of getting on the train, someone was like, Hey, you speak English? Where are you going? Why are you here? So it's always nice to be out in the Kansai area. So. Love that interaction. That's how you do small talk, right? <laughs> and the number of people who are just going around like randomly yelling and singing and everything like that, it adds a super lively atmosphere to the,、uh, to the morning. I'm hoping so. Last time that we did a stream, there was a little bit of a, a delay, and I'm hoping that. I, well, a little bit. There was a, there was a massive delay. There was a giant delay. And I'm hoping that we've managed to fix that delay. That whole interaction with the,、uh, the dogs and whatnot should have hopefully given us an idea of whether or not it is fixed. So let me know what you think. Right now, it's actually a touch chilly out.、Uh, while I was in Kyoto, it was pretty warm. Uh, but it's only, it says eight degrees, but feels a little closer to six. But again, there's no wind whatsoever. So, super grateful for that. Out for a really early morning family walk. I was like, Mom. And. If you weren't in for the Kyoto live stream adventure, I will let you know that this is location two on our one month of live stream adventures throughout Japan. Every week we're going to be going to different cities and doing live streams all across the country. And if you are watching this, After or sticking around to the end, when this video is posted in the comments, please put where you would like to see next. Osaka was one of the most voted for locations in our last stream, and so that brought us out to Osaka this week. So, all right. Let's head into here. Super early in the morning, so I'm assuming a lot of the food and whatnot is probably not going to be out and running. But I want to give a huge thank you to Slices of Japan for keeping that super chat ball rolling, saying, Hey Norm, thank you for this stream. The area strangely feels nostalgic from when I played the Yakuza series. Please have a morning beverage or snack. On me, absolutely, I will. Thank you so much for that. And yeah, we're gonna be doing streams every single week. That whole Yakuza game comment is kind of funny because I did the documentary on the closing of the Sega arcade in Ikebukuro, and that is also famously one of the locations for that game. And I'd say 
a good 10 to 20% of all comments on that entire video were about like, oh, I've only ever visited there in the Yakuza game. So, big crab. Too early for Okonomiyaki. I don't even know if anywhere is serving it. You see, when I walk around and do a stream in Tokyo, I tend to avoid uh, going into shops and restaurants and everything like that because people tend to not be as open and friendly and whatnot with cameras and all that as they are here in Kansai. But if anything is open and we can grab some food, I would absolutely love to. Now, when it comes to suggesting areas for live streams, number one rule on the list is I will not be doing Okinawa uh, for a few reasons. Number one, haven't been to Okinawa yet, and I kind of feel like I'm saving it. I don't know for what, but I figure if I'm going to go there, I want to do something good. I want to make the best of it. And I don't want to have to just swing through for a day and leave. So Okinawa is off the list. Additionally, things like forests and countryside towns are not the most conducive to live streaming. So hopefully we can stick to some more of the major cities around Japan. But if there is a major city that you want to see, let me know and we'll check it out. So this area here, we're pretty close to the Namba area of Osaka. And this street here is one of the most famous places in the entire area to grab food. There's just so many shops and restaurants and everything. And as we do this, I am trying to keep up with comments and whatnot as much as I can, take a peek. But yeah, if there are areas that you want to see when this video gets published and saved, please drop your requests into the comment section so I can go back later, look at which ones came up the most often, which uh, locations got the most likes or gained the most engagement and whatnot. And just like Osaka, we could be on our way to a new location. And sweet Archangel is saying, Morning Arm, usual request, sewer lid reveal. Well, our first sewer lid is going to be this one here. And it's a pretty boring start. So let's see if we can't find... Here we go. Right off to the side. That's upside down. It's all kinds of upside down. There we go. There's our Osaka sewer lid. And I see some requests in there like uh, Hokkaido would be nice or any chance you could visit Nagoya. All of those are 100% possibilities, providing that you drop them in in the comments when it goes live so I can see which ones are popular and voted for. We'll probably swing back later and come across this little bridge here because I just like this little wooden bridge. You know what? We'll swing back this way. This is one of the few shops running in the area right now. Very visually nice. They got ramen and whatnot going. Surprisingly, at like six o'clock in this mo in the morning this shop was just hopping with people the owner of that bicycle is gonna be like what the yeah maybe <laughs> so how many of you in the chat right now have actually had the opportunity to go out to Osaka and if you have had the chance to come out to Osaka what is your favorite area? What do you think is some of the best stuff to see and do in Osaka? Let me know. And Jonathan has asked, how much boating have you done since you got your boating permit? Yes, got my captain's license here in Japan a while back. 
and I've done some boating, but not a lot. I did all the necessary training and whatnot to be able to navigate the rivers of Tokyo. There's like a special seminar course one day thing that you've got to do and I've done that. And if you saw the video, I went out and shot down by Mount Fuji, but haven't done near, I haven't had the chance, the time to do nearly as much boating as I want to just yet. So, some people are saying Osaka Castle area. So this shop right here, this gyoza shop, kind of broke my heart. The last time I was in Osaka, maybe 2019 or the very beginning of 2020, they used to have like this giant gyoza sandwich thing. And I came all the way out to Namba just to get the giant gyoza sandwich. And then boom no giant gyoza sandwich they're like oh we discontinue that sorry no more of that so that was that was my osaka heartbreak and i didn't know what else to get out here so i think i just grabbed some random takoyaki and some other street food and then and then left mary's saying what is that noise is there a noise in the background like I can hear vents and whatnot, but are we hearing other noises? Lots of votes for Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle seems like a really popular space. Who knows, maybe we can walk out there. What do you guys think? Don't think it would be impossible. Let's head down this Shotengai area here. Loop back, head down that beautiful wooden bridge, and then see if we can't make our way through the streets of Osaka to the castle. Which is quite literally in the exact opposite direction. And Elaine in there, keeping that super chat ball rolling. Good morning, Elaine. Elaine always gives the chicken money. I was actually, when I checked the weather for today, we got lucky once again, because it originally said that we were gonna be hit with a super cloudy morning but we got beautiful blue skies and I'm very happy about that. And so, and Cookie Ninja in there saying hi. Hi, Cookie Ninja. And thank you for keeping the super chat ball rolling. Uh, I see a question saying, can you go into the castle? Most likely I won't be doing it on the stream. If you've ever gone into a Japanese castle, more often than not, there's a situation where the stairs are almost more like a ladder and they're incredibly steep so while they're okay with you taking pictures they request that you turn off and put away any cameras when you look at this alleyway by the way get that they request that you turn off and put away any cameras while you're going up the stairs so we would get into the first floor take a peek and then leave. And that's if they're okay with us shooting in there at all. So. There we go. It's a lovely sounding truck. Shall we head into this little back alley here? I feel like the answer to that has to be a resounding yes. And Roy D in there saying, 
Thanks for taking me back to Osaka. It's been over 10 years since I was last there. Roy, thanks so much for coming along for the walk. And JZM saying, good morning, Norm. Have another beverage on me. Thank you so much for keeping things rolling with that. Super appreciated. Always love having you here. Thank you. Kind of loving this area a lot. Uh -oh. Back alley for the win. We always got to do the back alleys. It just feels like a requirement at this point. And Zane saying, have a coffee on me, bro. Cheers. Oh my, even narrower back alley. Do we go down the wider one or the narrower one? You know what? I already know what everybody's going to vote. The narrower the space, the harder we try to fit through it. So Zane, thank you so much for keeping that super chat ball rolling with the coffee. I will 100% be getting a coffee when all of this wraps up. We might even take a peek at some of the vending machines along the way and see if we can't find anything that I don't see in Tokyo. Whew. Wow, it is dark in here. I'm sure that none of these shops have people in them right now. But I just, I feel the need to be quiet while I'm in here for some reason. <laughs> and Star of Night saying hello from Canada. Plan was to come in 2021, but the more I'm forced to delay my trip, the more inspiration you give through your videos. Oh, thank you. Really glad that you're able to enjoy it that much. That is part of the plan. And that's why, as I said, for this entire month, we're just gonna be zipping around to different cities in Japan and doing live streams as much as we can. You know, one of the most requested uh, live streams outside of the Osaka, the Osaka, that's right. I call it the Osaka was that forest of Mononoke that I had shot in a, pre in a previous video. And that forest there is absolutely gorgeous. But there are a few things that would make it somewhat challenging to live stream. Starting with the fact that you need near perfect conditions to get it looking as good as it did in that video. That was my third time driving out there. there we go. I really love this river. That was my third time driving out there and trying to get that scene. And I just never managed to get it until that last one. Second, there's no signal, which makes it incredibly difficult to do a live stream. Now I could do a pre-recorded walk but the other big challenge is, <coughs> excuse me, that I don't think it would do it justice. With the light cutting through the trees off in the distance and everything like that, you really need to be able to zoom in and punch in on that. And it, all of that beautiful light cutting through the forest that you would have seen in the videos lasts little more than about 10 minutes. So, the Forest of Mononoke video. If one of the mods uh, is able to link that in the chat here, that was honestly one of my favorite videos of the year to make. So, so what do you say guys? Should we hang out here in Namba or should we take some of the back streets through Osaka and work our way towards Osaka Castle. Drop your votes in the comments. While you're doing that, I'm gonna say a huge thank you to David Lee for keeping that super chat ball rolling and saying, wish I was back in Osaka again. Thanks for the flashbacks. Honestly, thanks so much 
for being here and being a part of it. Lots of people out and around. Like I got out to this area, I'd say close to 5 a.m. And it was just packed with people. So, and Rob C in here as well saying, as you've enough drink donations, this is to start the bowl, ball rolling for a Nintendo Switch fun. Aw, thank you. Thanks for the morning walks and allowing the UK to watch live. All right. It looks like it is a landslide decision that we are taking the back streets of Osaka all the way out to the castle. Now, the castle itself is roughly about three kilometers from here. So it should be a decent amount to do on the live stream. It should be a good time. And Silver saying, didn't sleep most of the night. So at my limit, but have an onigiri on me. Thank you so much. I 100% will definitely do that. As well as Paul McCool. I love the name, Paul McCool. Hey Norm, get yourself a coffee. I will do that, Paul. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the vending machines over here and see if we can find any products that I don't usually see in Tokyo. So far, we have a fairly standard set of vending machines, except for this chill out which is called a relaxation drink. What, a, what is a relaxation drink? Chill out relaxation drink. We got another set of vending machines over here. Let's take a peek at these. Okay. You don't actually see a ton of Bickle, which is like kind of like a yogurt-esque drink in vending machines in Tokyo. Might just be this vending machine as well. Can't really say that it's an Osaka thing for sure. Got some cream corn. But I do notice that the further you get out kind of west in Japan, the more you're likely to get this Sangaria beverage, the, the, this brand of beverage in vending machines. I don't see it as much in Tokyo. Uh, when you go to Shikoku, there's an entire set of drinks called Gabunomi. I think it's Gabunomi. And I never see them anywhere else. I'll catch them maybe every now and then in Tokyo, but otherwise don't really see them in other places, but they're everywhere in Shikoku. And Dennis Vardy is saying, hey Norm, hope you're well. Thank you for the video. Thank you so much for the super chat. I've actually, I'm surprised. We've come across more than one garbage truck this morning and they haven't been playing their music. One of the things that's always driven me nuts about Osaka is that all the garbage trucks, yes, I said garbage, all the garbage trucks drive around playing really loud music. And when I talk to Japanese friends, they're like, oh yeah, likely it's, uh, it's just so that the people in the area are like, oh, last minute, totally forgot to put out my garbage. I can hear the garbage truck coming. It's, it's like the world's worst ice cream truck. You hear it coming and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta put out my garbage. There we go. So Osaka Castle is going to be out in this direction. It says it's a wee bit of a walk. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Color 12 who has been mapping our walks lately. They've used projection mapping to say no bicycles and there's still a bicycle. So. And the usual super quiet Osaka mornings. Ah, 
heading back into here. I want to say, Natalie says, good morning from New Zealand. Thanks, as always, for helping to scratch everyone's collective tourism itch. That's part of the goal. <laughs> it really is. As I said, uh, over the past year, Japan has honestly given me quite a bit in terms of opportunity to share it with you. I've met a lot of amazing people and managed to make videos all across the country in so many different situations. So a large part of this month and doing all these live streams, as I mentioned in the Kyoto stream, is to just kind of do what I can personally to give a boost to the economy, taking more trains, making sure that I eat two to three meals in restaurants at every location that I go. I buy little gifts and souvenirs and I send them to my friends from the station and whatnot. So we are uh, doing what we can to give back to this country that's given us so much. So thank you so much for that. And Leva, Leva is in here keeping the super chat ball rolling saying love your videos. Can't wait to see Japan. Honestly, if you're one of those people who's waiting to come to Japan for the first time, I will say that for those of us, or I guess for those who have been here multiple times, we can all vouch for one thing. That first trip just ends up being like an appetizer and you just wanna come more and more and more. You could do a month on your first trip and it still probably wouldn't feel like enough. So, thank you so much for being a part of it. And thank you for the super chat. So, and going back to that super chat about the, uh, the, the switch there. In one of the previous streams, I mentioned that one of my goals for 2022 is to actually kick back and take a little more personal time. And that I'm looking at getting a switch so I asked if there were any absolute must-have games for the Switch because I'm starting years late and completely at zero. So, if there are any must-have games, let me know. Literally every direction we point has like some kind of shotengai or arcade or covered walkway off in the distance there's a pretty big difference between there's actually two really big differences between osaka's back streets and tokyo's back streets i would say the first major difference that i notice and recognize is that in tokyo as soon as you get into the back streets things tend to quiet out there's less activity there's less people but in osaka and noisy truck followed by noisier bike in osaka the back streets are pretty heavily utilized and there are people everywhere in every back street the other thing is if you're going through tokyo walking through the back streets you're very likely to come across a lot of little temples and shrines and everything like that non-stop it's just this ro rolling revolving just non-stop roll of temples and shrines and you don't get as much of that in osaka as you do in somewhere like tokyo see got another covered arcade down there got a police car down here and osaka castle is this way let's walk on the sidewalk so that we don't get called out for half hours jaywalking trying to read through and catch up on everybody's splatoon 2 eh oh come on i turned on this street so that I wouldn't have to deal with you. Why? Why did you turn down this street as well? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go Pikachu and Eevee for the Switch. Pokemon games are always good. Dodge the fuzz, no jaywalking. So again, a huge thank you. If you're looking at previous streams, hopefully within today, I'm going to be adding the, uh, da -da -da -da, the walking maps to the previous Kyoto streams that the color 12 has done for us. Uh, the color 12, I know you dropped those on the Patreon Discord. If you'd be so kind as through either the Patreon Discord or through our secret Instagram, if you could shoot me a DM uh, with links to those maps, I will add those into the Kyoto walk later on today for anybody who wants to follow along with the walk. So, and Bowsy, thank you so much for the super chat in here saying, I need this live stream every day. And Mary's saying, well, the cop just wants to be featured in your channel. I might, I, I actually, I think that's it. That's, that's exactly what's going on here. And what's a switch? Just kidding, LOL. Have you seen a Toyota A86 or Hachiroku in Japan? They are a really common car there. I wouldn't say that they're really common. They do exist, uh, probably more than in overseas. I would say I see about one to two uh, Hachirokus per month on average. That would be my guess. There's not a ton of them, but you do see them. Let's head down this way. Mm. No, opposite. We got ourselves a Porsche SUV here, looking super friendly. There we go. I would say out of all the places in Japan, look at all the, the stuffed animals on his dash here. You actually get a lot of that in Japan. People who just line up dozens and dozens and dozens of stuffed animals on the dashboard of their car. And some of them keep them so long there that everything gets bleached out. As I walk through here, I just, and enjoying the sounds of Osaka in the morning, super quiet. <laughs> I, uh, again, have my eyes open in the hopes of maybe coming across some backstreet temples and shrines, but... Yeah, it's been like this since pretty much five or six in the morning. And I want to give a huge thank you to Pedro Luff for keeping that super chat ball rolling. Saying, hey gang, how's everybody doing today? Don't forget to show the like button some love. Aw, thank you so much for using your super chat. Yeah, yeah. Give the like button some love if you haven't already. And Al V is in here saying Zelda B O T W for the nature. Okay, Astral Train for the urban. I will check out both. Thank you very much. And uh, Rob saying Switch also does retro gaming, N sixty four, SNES, NES, and Genesis. Nice. Right now, one of the only uh, gaming systems I have in my home is an N64. And I have literally, literally every game for the N64. So when I do have people over, it's quite often a bit of an N64 gaming party. So. Actually, we're getting pretty close 
to the castle. We're not quite there yet. And we're gonna jaywalk again right in front of the pose. So, that's a thing. I'm gonna head over this way for now. I feel like they're following me. <laughs> they just really want to be in the live stream. That's all. We can't fault them for it. It's an exciting stream. And I'm just reading through some of the comments you guys have left here. See this? This is what I enjoy about the live stream aspect is that we get this element of interaction where you guys can leave me comments, I can respond, I can read it out. I think we might do what we did with Kyoto today. I think that it might be worth coming back out here at night to do a nighttime live stream through Osaka as well show the livelihood of the area the craziness all the excitement and action what do you guys think you know what maybe we'll uh i'll take a look at it in the chat right now but also when this stream gets published leave it in the comments if you think that we should do a nighttime walk here in Osaka as well before we head off to our next destination. My favorite comment of the day is why you walking around? <laughs> literally for you. I literally came out here to Osaka to walk around so that you could feel like you're here. And we're making our way out to Osaka Castle. So I hope that you are enjoying it. And the sun coming up back there is looking quite nice. Even as back streets go, this is pretty wide to be honest. Looks like the idea Osaka at night might be a slightly pro popular popular what <laughs> the concept of English has just escaped me lately it's popular it's quite popular whoo he he was just zipping right down the middle of that road going in the wrong direction but oh prestige liquids in here Keeping the super chat ball rolling. Thank you so much. And Steph as well. Thank you. Saying, love your live streams. They give me peace and lots of ideas for Animal Crossing Island designs. Ooh, I like that. Keep up the awesome work. Steph, thank you so much. Glad to have you here. Glad you're enjoying it. I There are certain games that I avoid, like Animal Crossing, because I know, I know that if I start... I'm gonna disappear into it. Do you guys remember Roller Coaster Tycoon? I did Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was young and I lost weeks of my life to that game. That I'll just never, ever get back. And again, another garbage truck without the music. This might be our day. The music, it drives me crazy. There we go. But again, as we said earlier, you're probably noticing at this point a very large absence of any shrines or temples as we walk through these back streets. And Jewel M. At first, I thought we had a school here, but it looks like it's just a field. No grass. Forget the grass. Jewel M. saying, hey, Thanks to the walks and talks. Have you ever traveled with a motorcycle through Japan? Seems like the climate is ideal. Kind of. 
so I got myself a, a slow bike. When I say a slow bike, I mean, if you were to Google modified Honda Zoomer or modified Honda Ruckus, I had a lowered and lengthened Honda Zoomer that I used to use to get through Tokyo and to nearby areas, go to Enoshima and stuff like that. The climate is quite nice for it. Uh, I decided to choose a slower bike, the slowest one that I could find at just 50 cc's because I know myself well enough to know that if I got myself a faster bike, I'd be dead today. And I no longer have that bike and no longer ride that bike. I right before I shot, I did a, a documentary <clears throat> on the 10 year anniversary of the March 11th disaster last year. And the day before I went to shoot that documentary, the bike saw its final day. So explore, do a Blade Runner-esque night walk around uh, Osaka with all the lights and textures. And a question in here about how difficult is it to own a small car? It really depends on where you are. Like I live in Tokyo and if you want to own a car, in order to get the registration, in order to actually purchase the car, you need to show proof of having a parking space because parking spaces are so rare and hard to get. I guess they're not, uh, rare might not be the right word, but because parking spaces are so few, you need to, and, and expensive if you're in the city, like parking in, if I wanted to park my car, for example, at my building, I'm looking at somewhere around 600 like dollars. It'd be around 600 US dollars a month. My previous one, even when I lived in Asakusa was like $450 a month. So I tend to rent a lot of cars and do car share and stuff like that because the cost just works out being so much better. But you still have things like Shakin, which is like a once in every two year uh, expense and everything like that. But owning a car and driving in Japan, like driving in Japan, I've always found is super, super easy. Uh, I think especially in the city, Tokyo is a big city, very densely populated city similar to somewhere like New York, but it is much easier to drive in Tokyo because people are really used to it. And they tend to be uh, gentle, friendly, nice. It's a conducive, it's an environment conducive to driving is what I'll say. And, whew, glad that ended safely. I was on the edge of my seat there for a second. Uh, I just got a question saying, what is the best food you've ever eaten in Japan? Ho oh, ho, that is coming to you soon. I don't do a lot of food content on Tokyo Lens, but there's one that I absolutely positively had to do. And it was, I'm loving this river, by the way. I want to go through here on boat. Uh, so later on this month, as one of the last videos, if not the last video of the year, we're going to be doing some food content and you're going to be finding out what the single best, why wow, that is just dead space. There's just, it's being used for nothing. What a rarity in Japan especially in a metropolis. Whew. Wow. But yeah, later on this month, over on Tokyo Lens, you're gonna get to see the single best meal that I have ever had in Japan. It was a little bit over the top, I wanted to do a meal that was good and a little extreme and I think this 
checked off those boxes nicely. Let's take a peek at this street up here and keep climbing the hill. So another one that says, where is the nicest area in Tokyo? I think that's a pretty subjective question. It depends on what you like. It depends on what you count as being nice. So we got another kind of covered walkway here. And while I do want to get across the street, I feel like this would be less jaywalking and more frogger. So we might wait. I see vending machines over there though. Wow, yeah, we are, we are not making it across that safely. Every now and then you get a light like this that you don't want to miss. Ooh, S2000. Because it's really long on one side, but Slip right through there. You can see it in his face too. He's like, I've committed to turning, even though it's gonna turn red. And you just you see it in his eyes. He's like, damn it, busted. I'm worse than a jaywalking YouTuber. There we go. So for anybody just joining in the stream right now, we are doing a month of streams across cities in Japan and we are walking through the back streets of Osaka towards Osaka Castle by request so we can check out that area. I don't know if I've, uh, you know, I have been to Osaka Castle. I went to Osaka Castle back once in 2005. And I have not been to Osaka Castle since. So this is going to be a fun little visit. I haven't seen this place in absolutely forever. And just pulled my comments phone out of my pocket. So if I've missed anything important, just drop it back in. Or the mods, give me a heads up. So. Whew. Do the summoning based on the chicken. Yeah, I don't know. Stacy's saying, I think it's too early in the morning to summon him. <laughs> I think you are right. It is currently about 7.45, about quarter to eight in the morning as we make our way towards Osaka Castle. Last time that I came out here, I decided to walk from the Namba area out to the Umeda Sky Building. Honestly, it was a bit more of an undertaking than I had originally. Oh my lord, we found a shrine. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, also, and this is actually a nice little area too. I like how this space looks. Oh, I'm so happy. We, uh, there's been a very distinct lack of backstreet shrines in our walks. And I'm super excited to have this one. It's tiny, but it's wonderful. And I love this with the sun coming way up in the background there. Got this little alley to the house here as well. And as I do all of these adventures, I am also hoping to do a little bit of a, a behind the scenes video on Tokyo Lens for each of the locations that we go to. So, so 
Sorry, I'm just really enjoying this shrine area. All right, let's keep making our way towards Osaka Castle. I'd love to make a little bit of a behind the scenes video of the travels that we do through the next month or so. Whew. There we go. Castle should be out this way. You can kind of see mountains off in the background. And Chris Yamagata, thank you. Chris Yamagata in there with a super chat saying, you are amazing. And I, I'm assuming that is to that little shrine. The more rare they are, the more beautiful they become. So, and Jonas, Jonas, I, I hope I got that right. Said, so just recently found you by your Kyoto stream. Well, nice to meet you. Glad to have you. I'm Norm. Hope your day's doing good. Really enjoying your content. Subscribed. Love that. Thank you. You can go to Hokkaido next. It'd be lovely to see it during the snow. Hokkaido was also a fairly popular choice. And when I was deciding whether or not I was going to head to Osaka this morning or to Hokkaido, I did so entirely based on the weather. And so with our previous set of streams, we are set up and ready to go pretty much anywhere and show off the area to you guys. But again, there was no snow today in Sapporo. And I'd love to do something like Sapporo. I was actually gonna head out to like Hirosaki or Aomori area. But if I'm coming completely clean with you, when you get out to those bigger, wider areas where the, the, the building density and whatnot is just spread quite a bit more, there's not as much change from area to area. Like walking through somewhere like Osaka or Kyoto, we can easily hop from area to area with scenery changes and back streets and everything like that. One minute we're in Namba at the river, next minute we are uh, out of the castle. But when you get out to those bigger, wide open areas, you don't get as much of that change as you walk. So to go from area to area, it would be like, I could do a 20 minute stream in one area, then maybe a 20 minute stream in another area, but I'd have to take a break and you know, take a car between areas. And here is something that I'm sure some people are gonna be like, no, Japan, don't. So that is becoming more and more accepted in Japan, which is the scooters. All the ones here are done by this company called Loop. And if you'll notice, they have mirrors as well as brakes, turn signals, and everything like that. And they have license plates. And they have to have license plates because since they're a self-propelled motor vehicle, any fully self-propelled motor vehicle in Japan is required to have a license plate because it acts as a scooter basically. And when I say scooter, I mean like an under 50 cc bike. And so, oh not again, all right. I feel the Jay walk today. And so they have to have license plates on them as well as a rear view mirror and the ability to show brake lights, a turn signal. And you can't just use them on the sidewalks and stuff like that. You have to treat them like a car and follow the rules of the road. You can't go the wrong way on a one way road. You can't be on the sidewalk. You can't cut through a park. They have to be treated like a proper motor vehicle. And that was a man in a dress. To celebrate my first time catching one of your live streams, 
Hope you are doing great. Love all your videos. Best wishes from Hungary. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I mentioned in the Kyoto stream as well, but I've noticed there are quite a few people in who have been in for a while and have not yet given that subscribe button some love. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And look at that little... Yeah. <coughs> and make sure you turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of the impromptu or last minute live streams. And Shauna, who has been with the Tokyo Lens community for ever in here saying congratulations on your shamisen plushy norm grab some coffee why thank you very much shauna i uh recently <laughs> released a shamisen plushie like a little hand size look at that All right, so it says that we are back. Hopefully, hopefully we're back. Okay, so we caught the four-wheeler. Good, good, good. As soon as I committed to the narrow back alleys. Take a look at where we are. Japanese construction always kind of catches my eye. And for the color 12, who always keeps an eye on these for us, this is where we are right now look at that construction though Ooh. just fall on at it i'm gonna head down this way and right now we are actually not yeah destruction construction <sighs> we are getting even closer to Osaka Castle as we go here. I think actually fairly soon we should be within visual range of Osaka Castle. So I'm just super on the lookout for the castle right now. Hoping that I can catch a peek. I feel like this giant building right here, I feel like the castle is gonna be hiding behind this building. So when the, uh, when the stream decided to cut out there a bit, Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm trying to get caught up on everything here. Uh, uh, there we go. It looks like we are good. All right. I'm gonna come around here and hopefully see Osaka Castle in the next minute or so.
So if you're just joining in the stream now, we are also most likely going to do a nighttime stream here in Osaka. It's kind of, there's a lot of Don Quixote in Osaka. Like they are everywhere. I'm gonna cross here so I don't have to wait for the light. There we go. The ultimate jaywalker. And a super chat in here from Ray Diaz. Hi, Ray. Saying, please get a pokari sweat on me. Have a good one. Thank you so much for that, Ray. 100% will do that. So since we're in Osaka, the land of food, today I've decided to committing to doing two full meals somewhere in Osaka, but I have not yet committed or decided what we are gonna get. So I would love to hear from you what you think we should eat while we're here in Osaka. Let me know. Feels like we're in the, the right area. See, look, I'm waiting for the green light. I'm good. So we're gonna head down this way. I thought we'd be able to see it already, to be honest. But I think we'll be able to see it once we pass this park. Now I'm just scrolling through. Hey, Chan, how's it going? Chan in here with a super chat. This was a really bad lag test, I'm sorry. I was looking at the map, so I'm just reading it now. But for the lag test, I will read the most recent comment that I see coming in, which is Okonomiyaki or Okonomiyaki again. Oh, and Takoyaki, donuts and coffee. Oh, and ta Takoyaki, Okonomiyaki. Those are the most recent ones. Chan, thanks so much for dropping in a super chat for the live, for the uh, lag test. My brain is scrambled. You see, the other day I you know, the, the evening live stream that we did in Kyoto. I have a confession to make about that live stream. You see, that live stream, I was originally planning on going for about 30 to 40 minutes longer, but I wrapped up that live stream almost entirely because I was starving and my brain just stopped working. And I was like, oh, so this, this is the wall we have hit. And so I wrapped up the live stream and I went and got an absolutely lovely dinner and everything was great. I'm hoping that maybe we can make the light up here. Okonomiyaki seems to be a very, very popular choice. Takoyaki also being a very popular choice. But I also kind of don't want to do like two yakis in a row. Does that make sense? Ha! <laughs> Barrier can't stop my feet. <laughs> Yoink. Over the barrier. To the pigeon farm. Woo. Honestly, beautiful morning we got today here. And Chan, for the second half of that super chat that you put there saying, love your work. Thanks so much. Pigeon Farm. So right now we are just past 8 a.m. It is 8.01 in the morning now, and we are a stone's throw away 
from Osaka Castle. It's not super cold right now, like you do need a light jacket, but you wouldn't freeze to death in just a sweater either. So. And Ray Diaz in here keeping the super chat ball rolling by saying, can you just get some kombini food? I so miss the good <laughs> egg sando karage from those kombinis, man. So I ended up getting into Osaka a bit later than I expected and <laughs> ended up just defaulting exactly to that kombini food. And I feel like I'm heading to school right now. You can see Osaka Castle off there in the background considerably further than I expected it to be. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll just keep trekking forward. And not scary Steve is saying gyudon with some takoyaki chasers. Gyudon with takoyaki chasers actually sounds weirdly amazing. Especially if I could do like cheese gyudon with takoyaki. Cheese takoyaki, man. Takoyaki with cheese. That's just, it's the bee's knees. So, there we are. <laughs> I notice a lot of people in the comments commenting on the students' backpacks. And in Japan, especially like private schools and whatnot, they often have all their own standard backpacks that they use. And elementary school kids use these giant leather bags called Nando Seru. And they, I believe they're pretty expensive too. Uh, like, like three, four, five hundred dollars for a single backpack, but every kid needs to have one. And then I think when they get into like uh, junior high school, high school, for the most part, they're okay to use whatever they want slightly jogging to catch this light because I don't want to stand in the light I think we can make it we're going for a morning jog what do you think guys are jogging live streams doable or is this just way too shaky let me know Whew. that was our 20 second sample of what a jogging live stream would be like. So let us know. And KDC saying, oh, another pigeon farm. That's, that's not what KDC said, but with the beautiful lighting and all the pigeons, I kind of had to show it. KDC saying, my first super chat. Hi, everyone. Oh, thanks for saying hi to everybody, not just me. I don't know why I like that so much. But I do. And while I read this, this lady's feeding the pigeons and it makes me so happy. My first super chat, hi everyone and Norm. Can you please ride the Don Quixote Ferris wheel if you do a night stream? I don't know if they would let me just get on and stream. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can ask and see how that plays out. There we go. It's a plum grove over here. Lawson Station entrance ahead. What is? It? Okay, oh, it's a washroom. Huh. And there we go. No, it's closed. You've got to be kidding me. It opens in an hour. I thought, you know what? A nice. Quiet Lawson, outside of the core. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's grab something. Let's grab a bite so I'm not starving. Maybe let's uh, grab a drink and it's closed. And weirdly, you don't often see, look how beautiful this is though. You don't often see uh, 
vending machines on castle grounds, which is weird because in Japan, you'll even find vending machines on like, on a farm. Here we go. Look at that view. We'll get a bit closer, but I just wanted to take a second to enjoy the water here just because I personally I love a good moat at sunrise. I'm reading through trying to see if I got any response to the jogging stream. <laughs> All right, let's make our way closer to the castle. I'm assuming, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, sometimes you get into places like that and they're not a huge fan of you walking through streaming with a camera. The other day when we started the live stream in uh, Kyoto. I started, I think it was at like Yasaka Shrine or something. And I was kind of heartbroken, to be honest. If I'm coming completely clean with you, I was genuinely a little bit heartbroken because a security guard started like chasing me out of there going, no, no, no. And in retrospect, there were a lot of people around me taking photos and videos with their phones. Some had DSLRs. Yasaka Shrine is actually a really popular place for people to go and take photo and video. And I was like, why, why are you chasing just me out of here? Feels kind of unreasonable, especially during a time when your city is kind of on the edge of potential bankruptcy and I'm trying to help show its beauty to people but we got a no drone zone here i love how they like feel the need to put a giant like it's not even a little sign either it is a giant sign so huh. another pigeon group over here pigeon squad all the way all right and let's see how far we can get in and see if they, uh, if they mind the camera at all. Usually when I do stuff like this, I actually like to go in advance and check if they're okay with it. But <laughs> based on the votes of the live stream today, we just came out here on request. You guys said you wanted me to walk out to the castle. So that's exactly what we did so I haven't had a chance to ask them so there's actually a question in there that I like which is kind of funny it says can you see the no drone sign from your drone I think they've made it big enough that hopefully you can okay really funny no drone story so Chris Sharla and I we're doing a road trip through Tohoku back in 2019. The entire road trip is posted on my channel and on Charlotte's channel if you want to check those out. And we had an amazing time with it. But one of the areas that we got to, we got to the parking lot, we checked the area's legality for flying drones, it was okay and whatnot. The area was completely clean. There, you know, no airports nearby. It wasn't an overpopulated red zone. It was okay for drone flying. So we put up the drone and we flew it around. Now, we flew it up to the top of a mountain and around a statue. And in doing that, we got a lot of beautiful, beautiful shots. And as we were going in, one of the gentlemen was like, you guys were the ones flying the drone, weren't you? And we are like, yeah, what's up? And he pointed to this tiny sticker on the window of a place that we had to walk 20 minutes to get to that said, no drones. And I explained that we flew from the parking lot. We were actually asked to come out and show the tsunami recovery zone from the, the government and that we had approval for the shoot and everything. 
he was really angry at first. And then hearing what we were doing, he became super friendly and nice. And at the very end, uh, Sharla had this flower that was there that just smelled so good. And she, uh, she asked him, do you know what this is? And he's like, sorry, I don't. And we're like, oh, okay, that's fine. Went down to the car. We packed up all the gear. Maybe 15, 20 minutes later, the gentleman came rushing down at full speed. He's like, I found out, I found out what it is. It's a plant called Kinmokse. And I have that moment in the video as well. And it was just lovely. I think this is our entrance to the castle itself. So. Da, 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 da. Okay. Or maybe, maybe it's just that the Osaka Castle main tower cannot be reached from here. Also, please, no open flames. And there's only one gate. Please do not come into the garden if you're sick. And most certainly, no pets allowed. Okay. Let's walk our way around. Does this show where we are? There's no red dot or you are here. Okay. It's okay, we're at Osaka Castle. It's a beautiful garden either way. We will walk around and take a look. And I'm gonna go back through the comments and make sure I haven't missed anything because I had it all in my pocket. So if you're just joining the stream now, we are walking through the garden around Osaka Castle by request of the viewers of this live stream. In fact, we're in Osaka on request. And when this stream wraps up and goes live, if you want to drop in your request for our next location, yours could be chosen. There's an abandoned railroad hike about a 30 minute train from Osaka. Very flat and easy. Takes about two hours. Need a torch though, because you go through six dark long tunnels, should check it. That sounds amazing. That sounds exactly like the kind of thing that I would go and do. Thank you for sharing that. To the Patreon mod squad, could one of you do me a favor and copy that and drop it to either our mod chat or a DM to me over on our Discord. That would be spectacular. I might want to check that out sometime. This time we're only in Osaka for today for the purpose of live streams. This morning, and then we're going to do a nighttime live stream going through the lively area. Probably Dotonburi at night grab some food or something, have a couple drinks. I am really looking forward to that. There we go. Looks like we might be able to get in from there. The main tower area. And it says the abandoned railway hike is Takedo Railway, by the way. Got some shrine, look at this. Got the shrine gates here with the sunrise in the background. Hoorah. Loving that. <laughs> Everyone's bl blaming the lag on the plushies. We should be okay soon. 
heading towards the castle now. This here is the Sakuramon Gate, which as you can read from the description here, was founded in 2005 by Dead Mouse and is designed to replicate the cyberpunk city of Tron. And Casey Jane in here, keeping that super chat ball rolling with a little sticker. That's a cute one too. Thank you so much for that, Casey. And heading towards Osaka Castle. Now there it is in all its glory. It has been so long. It has been so long since I came out here. Oh, wow. And what? 12 years or something? 13 years maybe? Since the last time that I got to see Osaka Castle. Uh, if you have not, if you have not already, please give that like button some love. Finally, the true history. Tron. Lady singing. Can you guys even hear that? Look at that. Whew. Don't forget it. Don't don't forget it. Don't forget to visit the time capsule. There's a time capsule. Can you see inside? Or is it buried? That's what they need to do. They need to make like clear time capsules. Look at that. So there's an entrance off here to the right for the museum, won't be heading that way. We're gonna go this way and take a walk around as close to the beautiful Osaka Castle as we can. Seems like a nice place for a morning jog. Whew, look at that. You know what? Because we can, let's punch in a bit. That was nice timing. Beautiful sight, Osaka Castle. And I think we have a whole ton of vending machines over here as well. So before we do a full walk around the castle, let's take a peek at what's available in the vending machines. Cause my phone and gimbal don't want to work anymore. There we go. Just got tired and it was like, no, I'm good. We're fine. Let's take a peek at the vending machines and see if we can't get ourselves a nice beverage to walk around the castle with. They got ice cream. There's an ice cream vending machine. Got Calpis Coolish. What do you guys think? Hot beverage, cold beverage. I think I might do a hot beverage. I think the crows agree. I don't know what this is, but I want it more than anything. Dragon Boost. I feel like one can would kill me. I 
I feel like this one has a bit of a theme, maybe. These Georgia Latte Nista are actually pretty good. I enjoy those. And then over here we have more ice cream. Why would you give us a hot food vending machine? I'm hungry. All right, grab ourselves a... Oh no, I just realized. I don't know if I can do it, we'll, we'll try. The uh, my Suica is in my phone. So, <laughs> all right, let's, uh, ice cream goes there. All right, there are disposal. Uh, you know what, let's see if we can't grab ourselves some cocoa and then uh will it work Ugh. did it kill the stream <laughs> yay yay we got ourselves a drink but the question is did it kill the stream you know, there's a gentleman over there. Let's give ourselves some appropriate. Wow. Wow. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh. There we go. Oh, Osaka Castle in the back. I'm going to have to like crouch down like this. Whew. Osaka Castle in the background. Oh, I think we can do this. Does that, does that work? And then I'll keep my eye on the comments as we enjoy quick hot beverage and then go explore around the castle area. Yay, I'm glad it didn't totally tank the stream. Oh. That's nice. Melty cocoa, Toro Keru Cocoa, which I used to. There we go. Let's see your thumbnail. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd been walking this long. It feels like I've been walking like 45 minutes. It's been well over an hour and a half. Now that crow was not happy about me being here. Also, you're gonna be able to see it in a second, hopefully. There's like an airplane that's gonna be flying in from over here right across the castle area look at that I love it I love it oh did not realize that we've been walking for this long that's something else melty cocoa such a picturesque I know this is oh by the way I was telling you guys about in one of previous streams about this jacket, this jacket from Uniqlo, and it like it's it's super thin down and it like rolls up and like it goes into this tiny little pouch and it's spectacular and it means that I don't have to carry a big jacket around everywhere and it just fits in the bag super easy. I love it. I absolutely love it. And for anybody who hasn't had a chance to see it yet, ta -da! this is the Shamisen plushie. So I feel like I should take a picture of the Shamisen plushie with Osaka Castle. That feels like we gotta do that. There we go. Picture taken with the castle. Put the plushie back in the bag. It has like a, a little butchie, a little plectrum that comes with it. So, <sighs> feel it actually, I just keep go, go, go on these streams most of the time. I don't usually sit down and take a bit of a rest. So this is kind of nice. We're gonna go check out the castle in a second, but I do want to finish my drink. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> People are saying, no, don't pull out the Chevy Sin plushie. It is the crasher of the stream. I also want to get a quick shot of the, the castle here, because that's just beautiful. And, ooh, look at that. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Love that. I uh, actually kind of want to get a bit more of a zoomed view. So we're going to change out lenses for a second so we can get a better shot, like a nice close up. Because as I said, as I do this, I'm also trying to put together a little bit of a behind the scenes for you guys to, to bring you in the adventure with me so that we can do something for YouTube. There we go. Pigeons over here, having a good time. There we go. Did you hear those pigeons? Those pigeons are just having an amazing time. There's a tiger up there. Okay. Wow. There we go. So I'll see if I missed anything. I've, I've just been shooting stuff for the last second, finishing up my drinks. Ah. It, yeah. It is an absolute pigeon rave. You know what, maybe since I haven't taken any photos, ooh, birds, I just love the birds there. Uh, what are we doing? Wow, really? Oh, that's why. There we go. I'm taking up photos lately, so. Now we've done that. We'll change our lenses back out. Finish up our drink. And go explore the castle a little bit more. And just scrolling through to make sure I didn't miss any comments from you guys. How long do you think you could leave your bag there before getting unattended, before getting taken? I don't trust it. I don't. People are like, oh, Japan's so safe. You could leave your stuff. Yeah, there are cases where people have left stuff, but I say it a lot. Japan is a country full of humans just like any other. There are good people. There are bad people. Japan is not a country where you can just willy-nilly leave your stuff completely unattended and never have to worry about it. Stuff gets stolen all the time. All the time. All the time. Protect your stuff. That's all I'm going to say. And that is... That is wet. Alright. Let's go take a walk through the castle area. I think... We're good. Let's go enjoy the castle. And turn this back around. There we go. All right, give me a second to collect my stuff here. And we will be off like a herd of turtles. Go ahead and dispose of our can. Ooh, and we have another airplane. Give me just a second here. There we go. And now let's take a wee bit of a walk. I have my phone 
in my pocket right now. So if I miss any comments or super chats or anything like that, just let me know and I will get back to them as soon. I, I'm using both hands right now so that to get the behind the scenes for this, I'm actually shooting on another camera as well. So, oh, what a beautiful morning. Look at this. We got some lucky today. <laughs> Thank you, GoPro. Thank you for powering off the camera at 20% battery. <laughs> oh, what a hot piece of garbage GoPro products are. It just sucks that there's nothing. They're just the, the, the best of a bad situation. Action cams as a whole are just a hot mess. But GoPro, oh, they're, they're great when they work once in a while. Look at that though. Love that view, look at this. With the sun's, oh my lord, there's, that is very picturesque. Oh. That's it, I just wanna hold on that for a second. Wow, look at that. Chan is in here with a super chat. Thanks so much. Saying collective nouns for a group of turtles, a bale of turtles, a dole of turtles, and a nest of turtles. The, uh, <laughs> the herd of turtles thing is, is something I've carried over from, my grandfather used to say that. And uh, I've learned something that I never knew. I never took the time to look up what a group of turtles was called. And now we know, thanks to Chan, that it's a bale, a dole, or a nest of turtles. So Chan, thank you so much for dropping in that super chat. I really appreciate that. Okay, I just, I honestly, I wanna stand here forever and do this, but you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I really wanna get a shot of the, can where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this here and hope that we don't drop it because I really want to get a shot of this with a good camera. That's beautiful. That's just, seriously. I rarely get this excited about a castle, but I feel like a goldfish getting all excited about a castle. Let's head over this way. And just scrolling through to make sure I didn't miss anything while I was taking those photos. Whew. Got Osaka in the mountains out there in the background. Look at that.
just a spectacular place to be. A spectacular time to be here. Super grateful that we could do this today. Look at that. Look at that shot. Oh, wow. And on that note, ladies and gents, I think, I think it's time to wrap up the live stream. I hope that you've enjoyed this morning walk through Osaka, out from the Namba and Dotonbori area, out to the castle. If you haven't joined yet, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you give the like button some love at the end. Make sure you leave me in the comments where you would like us to go next. Try to keep it to major cities. Again, no Okinawa and the ones with the most votes and whatnot. I will very possibly end up going to one of those locations in a live stream this month because we're doing an entire month of streams. If you want more streams and whatnot, I invite you to come and hang out with the Tokyo Lens Patreon crew. You got a whole secret Instagram that I'm about to do a live stream on right now. I'd say Patreon crew, we're gonna kick off the live stream say in about 10 minutes. I wanna get a few more shots here. And I'm just realizing that I, I busted the gimbal. It is like broken wide open. I dropped it earlier before starting the stream and didn't realize it till now. So that's exciting. Thank you all so much. I will see you in the comments. The Shamisen plushie that crashed the stream is also linked in the description box. Joshua, thank you for that final super chat. And we are doing another live stream from Osaka tonight. Night streaming here in Osaka. I'm thinking possibly of kicking that one off somewhere around 6 p.m. Japan time, maybe. So, thank you all so much. I'll see you again real soon.